Hey everyone, I'm here with a very quick haul, Sally Beauty and Target. So I had to run up to Sally's because I was out of shampoo and this is the only place that I can find it. I went to a Sally's in the town where I go to church on Sunday. They had the conditioner and all of the other products but were out of shampoo. I called up to the other Sally's which is 15 minutes away, the same as the one I went to yesterday except in the opposite direction and they only had three left. So this must be popular. It's new, it's beautiful textures, intense moisture, tangled taming moisturizing shampoo for mixed textures, curly, wavy, kinky, coily, frizzy. Works really, really well. I love it. I use the leave-in conditioner. That works amazingly as well. If you have super curly hair like mine, you will love this and it's only about three or four bucks. Now, the other stuff that I got is buy one and only argon oil derived from Moroccan argon trees. I have the curl cream which I really love. It's pricey. It's $9.99. The full size shampoo and conditioners are $9.99 a piece. And that is pretty expensive. You're spending about 20 bucks on shampoo and conditioner. Got the sample size, they were $3.99 a piece to see how I like this. Sometimes they say it's good to switch up shampoos. So I'm going to see if this is really worth it and I will be trying these out. I can do a review on it. That's all I got from Sally's. At Target I grabbed two eyeliners. I've been ranting and raving that I cannot find a liner that will last me all day on the bottom lash line and water line. They all smudge and smear and do not hold up. The Urban Decay 24 Hour and the CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast as well as the CoverGirl Line Blast 24 Hour Liquid. Those ones hold up for me. The CoverGirl ones sometimes halfway through the day I have to retouch. The Urban Decay I've only tried in Electric Blue which I got it when it was on sale at Urban Decay. Otherwise, I would not pay full price. I believe it's about $18 or $19 for a pencil. That's too much for me when there are so many other more affordable options. So those ones work for me, but I could not find a really, really, really black liner that stayed put. I love the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Cajole Inspired Coal Liner. I have it on the tops now, and it's a chubby pencil. I showed it in my April Favorites video. Makes it really easy to line the top and to do a cat eye. But it does not hold up on the bottom. It smears and smudges a little bit. I put up a status ranting about this on Facebook and I was recommended either a gel liner. I was recommended some different things, but most people told me to try Rimmel's Waterproof Liner. Now, I've tried the Rimmel Smart Eyes, and it didn't hold up on the bottoms. It hold really well on the top. It held up. This is the Retractable Waterproof Exaggerate Liner. It was only $3.14, so it's worth a shot. Right here, there is shimmer to it. And then I got the Rimmel Cajole Eyeliner Pencil, the Soft Cold Pencil in royal blue. And I'm curious on how these hold up compared to the Stila Cajole liners because I've heard some mixed reviews on those and they're very pricey in my opinion. About 20 bucks or so. Two of these for about six dollars. You can't beat that. Rub my finger on it now. The black one smudged just a little bit. But for the most part, it's holding up. The blue one is not budging. I might have to grab this in black. I have so many black eyeliners, it's not even funny. Several from Avon, the CoverGirl, the Revlon Color Stay, which did not last on the bottoms for me as well. The Maybelline Cream Liner in the pencil form, it did not last at all. It smudged. 
I have the gel liner by Maybelline. It's not that great in my opinion. I just have so many, but I'm trying to find one that will last me all day at work. So we will see how these two work. The Mark one that I mentioned in my previous video, the Keep It Going, it's really good as well. Oh, and from Sally's, I just grabbed Beauty Secrets Top Coats. This was cheap. It was about 3 bucks. Just looking for a top coat so that my nail polish doesn't keep chipping off. That's all that I have. I will link more information below, and also I will put some things on my blog. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Also, with my Avon Campaign 10 that is coming soon, I did order a few items from the new hair collection from Mark for curly hair. So I will be doing reviews on that for sure. If you'd like to see some hair care videos, please let me know. I can review different products for curly hair. Just recently got my hair colored. It's supposed to be dark brown. I had it this color in October and it lightened up on its own. It turned the lighter shade of brown and I feel like I should have kept it that way because I feel like this is too dark. So I may get some highlights for summer and I do miss my blondish brown colored hair. So we'll see. Let me know what color you guys like better on me. And if you want to see more hair videos, definitely let me know. I hope everyone's having a great week.